I've really been very grateful to God and to our ancestors, the Botelezes, for having a father like him. Most of the time, you know, they, we people, we wait until a person is no more there and then we start celebrating his legacy. I'm so grateful, honestly, I am so grateful that not only has, is the truth coming, finally coming out, but more importantly, coming out during his lifetime. I don't know a lot of people that actually reach the age that he's at right now and I'm sure wherever he is right now, he feels, well, I think he knows he's blessed. John is 90. I, we've got a long way to go, but what a, <laughs> what a, a shining example. 28. <laughs> I shouldn't be speaking. <laughs> I think. God has given you these years to pass down your wisdom upon us so that if the time comes, which I hope is not soon, for God to take you, we might have something left of you to remember you, you by sharing. The weird thing about Umduan is that you grow up not thinking that you are very close to Umduan because of everything and that you know, he's always out of town and the only times you see Umduan is like at a glimpse, at a glimpse, at a glimpse. He is such a busy person who deals with so many important things, but he remembers that my favorite nuts are almonds. You grow up there and you look forward to Christmas. Oh yeah, you look forward to Christmas. Even if he doesn't get a gift on your birthday, you don't feel bad. You're like, I forgot my birthday. Didn't get... But you know, in your Christmas, you'll make sure you get something nice. Every Christmas, we knew that we, each person would get a box of quality street chocolates. So it's, it's like one of those memories which you actually grow up to and you're like, ah. It's the time of the year. I know what I'm getting. Sharing it, the visit in Baba Zanega Mahat. On behalf of my siblings, my mother, and their whole, their grandchildren, of course, and their whole broader family. I really would like to take this opportunity, as I said earlier, that we would rather have it this way, where we look you in the eye, we have you in the room, and say to you, I don't know how can I thank Kumtano Rapindangan. I'm running short of words. Thanks for being that person that's always moldable, that's always willing to grow. For accepting me, I come from a country that a country that still kills people and treats other people badly for, for who they are. <coughs> and to be accepted and loved, it means the world to me. So if that was your only gift, thank you. Thank you for that. Thanks a lot for being a father and a mother. And I really don't take it for granted. I know at some stage I troubled you so much, it seemed as if I was very ungrateful, but it was just a stage and Mdwan has learned that I've grown from that stage and yeah, I just want for the rest of your days that we still have with you. Just the only thing I want to see on your face is a smile. Just want to make you smile. Yeah. Thank you for being such a great role model to me and sorry <laughs> I 
um, you know, I've learned so many lessons from you. Um, you know, lessons of being someone of integrity, of honesty, of, you know, someone of, of matter, someone that, that, that makes a mark, you know, on this earth. Don't just be there and do nothing. Every single person has a chance to do something, make a change and, and make their mark. At Shenge, we, we as the grandchildren of the Putelezi family really appreciate everything you've done for us. I'm thankful that the Lord has kept you for so long and you've been able to share some of my achievements. Yo, it gives me joy to be able to call myself your great-grandchild. Happy, 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 happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. Or in fact, I hope you enjoy the next two weeks because they're going to be explosive. For that, I salute you when I was single. I pray that God still blesses us with your life for 90 more years. That is it. Um, I love you so much and we wish you a very happy 90th birthday in our seed. Shame. <laughs>